So next up in our MySQL series are created functions. Uh, these are stored functions. We can, um, in PHP and MyAdmin, if you go into the more category here for your whatever database you're working in, you go into more, you can see there's a section called routines. Routines includes two things. There's functions and there's stored procedures. So we're going to create a function. Now a function is like most other programming languages. It's something you pass data to it, it does some calculations, and it returns a value to you. We can create functions that are stored as part of our database. So if you find there's something that you're doing in your queries all the time, some small little thing, like I'm concatenating a couple of strings, and you don't want to have to write that inside the query over and over and over again, well, you can come in here and you can actually save a function. You can store a function associated with your database. So go into your database, and then we do this. Create function, give it a name. Um, I'm going to use the example where I'm always concatenating first names and last names, so I want to be able to just have a function I can call that and pass it the two columns. So create function, uh, we'll call it full name, and then inside the parentheses here, what we're going to add are the two variables that we're passing in. So we're going to call the first one first name, and we're going to define it as a char 20. And then we will have another one called last name. We'll make it a char, let's say, 30. OK, so we're going to be combining these two things. We will have to define returns. Not return, but returns. This is, what is the function going to be returning to us? We'll say it's going to be a char 55. Um, there's a keyword that you can put in here, deterministic. If you know that you're always going to be giving back the exact same result every time you call the function, so now, sorry, not the exact same result, but if you pass in the same two values here, you're going to get the same result back. It's like a pure function in JavaScript. If you're familiar with pure functions, then this will make sense. Um, this is completely optional. You don't have to put this in here. You can also put not deterministic, and that will work as well, because sometimes you'll have statements where the result will change. So you can do a calculation inside of a function, you get a different result, even if you pass in the same values. OK, so returns, we've defined what's coming back from the function. And then we're going to call return. My cat is talking to my dog right now, and <laughs> you can probably hear that. Um, so we're going to return the concatenation of these two variables. So let's say concat first nm, and then we want a space, and then we want the last nm. Okay, and there's our function. So we've created a function. I'm going to run this. Now it's not going to actually run the function right now. We're creating it and we've just saved it inside of our database. Now, it doesn't show up here right now, but if you click the little refresh button up here at the top under the PHP My Admin title, there we go. That will refresh this column. And there it is. Now we've got a section called functions. So we have tables and we've got functions. If we open up functions, hey, there's the one that we just created. If we click on functions, there's the one we've got. If we want to edit it, there it is. We can edit the details of this thing. Now, if I want to run this function, this now exists inside my database. So let's jump over to uh, one of our tables. Let's go to the movie, uh, people. I think that had a first name and a last name. Yes. So our people table has a first name and a last name column. Let's just make sure we've got some data in there. Uh, okay, we've only got <laughs> one row, but that's fine. So we're going to concatenate these two things together, the first name and the last name. All right. Now, right here, this is where I'm going to call my function. Instead of putting in some other values, like I can, I can add other columns. I can say I want the person ID column. But instead of having to write here, concat, first name, comma, space, comma, last name, I am going to call my function full name. And then we're going to pass in the column names, first name, last name, like this. 
So I've saved myself the comma and the quotation marks here, not a huge savings, but it does let me, let's say I'm gonna call it FN for full name. Then we'll run that. And there it is. There's my alias FN, my person ID column, and it's done the work. It's done that for me. So now you know how to create functions. You can save them there. If they're things that you're using over and over again, you now have access to those simple functions. So it's always going to be pass in zero or more arguments like this, and then it will give back something which is a certain data type. And then if you want, you can use the result of this in some other calculation. All right, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. I will leave a, uh, a copy of the creation of this function in the uh, comments, or sorry, as a uh, code just for you, so you can copy and paste it from there if you want. Uh, I will also leave a link to the reference for creating functions and a link to the rest of the MySQL course. As always, thanks for watching.